What up, everybody? It's your boy Pinto. Today we're back, and we're doing some Gunsmith. I know that was a ballin' intro. Who knows? Maybe I'll stick with it. Maybe I'll re-record it. Who knows? I mean, I guess you'll know, and I'll know, because one way or the other, y'all will see whatever I decide, and I'm going to decide it. So, yeah, so without further ado, let's go ahead and start. So we're here with Gunsmith. We're doing a sandbox game mode, and we can choose between a couple different countries. We got China. We got Russia. Oh, the UK. Wait, Russia, UK. But I think we'll go with good old US of A. Let's go ahead and start this. So this game I love to play back in the day, and I haven't played forever. And... Good morning. So it's let's me, see. Ian. I know this has taken longer than expected, but I'm happy to tell you that we've started to conclude your father's estate. Also, my father's dead. That's a great sign. That you've inherited. Use the... Okay, I'm just gonna skip. I've heard this intro. So, uh, let's yes. Wow, this has gotten reworked. Okay. Let's see. Okay, um, some things I remember. Okay, we can pause, which is good. Um, cookbook, wow, they've really redone some stuff. Uh, where's this? Hoover. So some free resources, I remember. There used to be some free resources scattered here and there. I kind of hated it, though, because they had a lot of boxes like this, and... It took up space. Oh, they also got rid of the annoying... <clears throat> they used to have this really annoying uh, center, centerpiece, which just... Uh, it, it, was, it was super annoying because you... Uh, um, it, it just it really hampered your ability to be able to get creative, and you couldn't do some really cool things with it. Um, okay, so... This one I remember super simple. Uh, so, let's first start off, let's see, cookbook, let's see if anything changed. We're going gloves, which is plastic heat fit. Okay, so we're going to do this. Let's, let's just move all this over here. Um, so one thing that I know is new is now you have to have, you have employees that need to be able to move around. I guess we'll just leave that there for now. And to reach things, which really kind of hampers what you can do. Um, not the end of the world, though. Okay, so we have that, and then we'll do cutting. Let's make sure. I don't think I lined that. Nope, didn't line that up. And then here, let's see. TikTok was still open for some reason. I've, I've been really bored. Like, I got so bored this ordeal that I downloaded TikTok. So that is an issue. Okay, then we're going to do this and that. So they should still be able to reach everything there. Okay, we need the heat. Cool. And then we need this. So what sucks is we don't have the small conveyor belts yet, um, which really kind of hampers our ability to be um, conscientious, big word of the day, uh, <laughs> about our space. Um, so we're just gonna, it's gonna be a little ugly, but we'll go, we can go back and, uh, pretty it up later. So we're gonna do this. Then we'll do that. Go do this. Can't believe I have to move this all back. Then this still... Ah, uh, this is the one thing I always hated. Okay, um, honestly, we'll just do this. This gives us a little room to expand. A lot of this is just kind of to get it up and running, get a very, very basic production. Um, okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I, I wish, let's see if they, I don't think they've added in. Yeah, they don't. Darn it. Uh, or they didn't. So we need to pretty much go through and do this. We're going to copy this. So the way this works is stuff like this sewing machine, it it sews anything that goes under it. Which is really good because what you used to be able to do, and I think for everything I know you still can, it's kind of scummy, but it's smart for design-wise. I can have theoretically 30 of these all merged excuse me, sorry, all merge into a single line here 
and then they sew. So if they're stacked 10 high, they all sew because they're going under this. While something like this, which actually has an output, this has output. Um, something like this, it just heats anything that goes through it. I don't think that has output. So there, there are some nifty little ways uh, to help uh, just maximize your efficiency. So let's do this. Okay, we need to make sure. I think that's enough room for them to get through. I hope. If not, oh, we have the walkways. I forgot about that. That's something else to remember too. Because back in, you know, when this first came out before they really added anything with um, employees, you could you could just put things, you know, things would be backed up together and never an issue. We'll do that. Um, I'm, I'm being a little, uh, I think, just, you know, extra cautious when it comes to the amount of space I'm putting. Uh, I can go back, re-edit things. Normally, and I think every time I've played this, really, uh, I've kind of probably ended up, where's this? Here we go. Eat, then so I've uh, probably gone back and edited everything two to three times, which is, which is normal. That's just um, how it is. Um, because, uh, you know, some stuff works good. And like, a, another thing is you just, you unlock better. Oh, that's going to annoy me. Okay, we're going to do some, put that there. There we go. This needs to go over. Uh, you unlock better things, and you, you kind of learn how to do things in a more efficient manner. Or you unlock more efficient things, too. So we're gonna do this, and this, and this, then this. Because realistically, I would normally just take it like this, then over, and then in, which is, you know, saves a lot of space. But unfortunately, I can't do that. So I need to make sure, oh, well, let's do this. Yep. Okay, so output's gonna be selected glove, glove. Uh, plastic fitting, glove, glove, we'll do sheet and sheet. Now I doubled these up because um, one actually, at least this is going off of kind of prior knowledge, one did not uh, have a, the output of one of these did not match the required input for one of these to be at peak efficiency. And twos, unfortunately, unfortunately two was at the time, and I think still is now, just a little bit too, um, uh, it's too efficient, so you do get excess, which it can store, which is no issue, because there's sometimes where you run out of materials, and you're like, well, crap, but then you're like, oh, wow, I have all this excess here, which is really, really, really good, and you can hit restock contents. So, mark it. This is where a lot of the money gets spent, so we're going to go ahead and buy uh five we're gonna get ten thousand of each that gives us enough money to work with for a little bit and then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get some just n nice little um nice little storage area set up okay and now uh oh yes we have to add in line control Fortunately, this used to be a, this was just a extra thing back in the day. Um, me too. Uh, so we're going to do camo, camo two, and this one will be camo one. Uh, you, you didn't have to use line controls. They were good. You, you used them uh, just for small little bits and pieces. Uh, recruit and sign, recruit and sign. Two, three, four, five. Can we put that? But now you're, uh, as of, I think, two or three, after a couple updates ago, you were pretty much required to do that. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, we also need to add. Oh, 
Oh, it's maxed out. There we go. Okay, and it looks like we need to do some R&D. So let's go ahead and just unpause. Um, we're already using a base 116 power, which kind of sucks. So we need to get another power generator down. We'll go ahead and get two. That should give us uh, enough room for a little excess. Let's go to our line controls, and we're going to power on. Let's see. Things seem to be going good now. Love, so, yep. So. Seems to be... Now, plastic has always been more efficient than uh, cutters. I did try a while back doing two, two of these, two fabrics to one plastic line, and then you just get that issue that... Um, well, they did drop the, cra the crafting speed, so maybe it might be worth it. Um, it at the time, it was more... Uh, it was higher, a higher fishing level than you really need. Okay, so we want to go ahead and spend about 20k or so on research, so we can start researching things. And wow, they really redid the research tree. Kevlar dispenser. Wow, you have Kevlar now. A uh, combat apparel, is, you know, always was the first one, and then uh, going for these uh, belt tiers too, where you really, more importantly, get the belt one millimeter. You get the, you can raise it by two meters and lower it. Not that big of a deal, but it, it's still nice. Let me let me check something quick. Thing audio, we have music. Okay, there we go. It's like it's too quiet in this game. Now let's take a look at our orders available. We'll go ahead and take a couple of these. Well, they added in. Ooh, CIA, MSS. Okay, and then we're going to do active orders, and we'll just go ahead and... Ooh. So we're doing a lot of gloves. And as you can see what I mean, where it just... It, it goes over and it gets the um, sewn uh, ability, or the sewn quality, whatever it is. It, it, it becomes... It gets the... Yeah. It's great. I don't know where I'm going with this. Okay, so here's our production area. Let's do this. I think we need to build not a market station, tool station. Here we go, and we're gonna put this guy. There we go, and let's go ahead and and you know we'll we'll add in a nice TV right there. Give them plant there, plant there, and we'll throw in table there a new dawn okay there we go good work our uh oh let's see oh little foxies that's adorable okay check our orders now so we can build we're pumping out gloves which is at a good rate gloves are they're the base level you really don't make a lot of money you barely from what I remember, it was it, you barely broke even on gloves. Like you, you would make money, but it was very hard to break even. So you really want to get into the. Uh... Oh, we have plenty of research points, so we want to go ahead and lower this down a little bit because we're not going to need zipping machine. That's what we need. It's going to take us a day. So we're looking, and that's another day. So about uh, three days, we'll have. The basic, the very, very, the stuff we need to start making some very decent money. Chemical dryer. We have all the bullet stuff, which takes a long time to get to. Let's see, what is this? So, ooh, RG870 shotgun and the CE47, also the, known as the. <laughs> I'm too lazy to license the guns, which no shame, no shame. Uh. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, ooh, what is this? Explosive production license, TNT. Ooh, okay. This game has really gotten, gotten some cool content since the last time I played it. Okay, active orders. We can pump you out, and let's go ahead and accept. Now, it used to be back in the day, you would, uh, I guess you could, uh, you'd get random orders, so, uh, 
people so people can do bulk orders so they can order gloves mixed with vests mixed with pants mixed with guns mixed with bullets and so sometimes like there'd be times that, like this far into the game where i am now that you get you'd start getting orders for like the pistols and i i never understood why that was thing i was like that that's stupid because obviously there's no way i'm going to be able to get pistols by before the order expires and you know you pistols were something that that in-game stuff was so hard to make money on it was a constant you you could go positive as constant i'm gonna lose money then i'm gaining money and losing so we're gonna drop our research budget down to nothing for a while because we have a lot of research points um zipping still is till tomorrow um really not gonna work on uh, upping our production. I don't think we're holding good. Let's check our market. This is the f bad part of the game. It's just it's slow and there's nothing. Um, oh, market manager, so you can they can order. Okay, that's cool. Higher risk, bigger rewards. Okay, and let's go ahead and get research going. And we want combat apparel, and I think so. Boots, boots is something I always kind of held off on. Because you also have to do rubber. And so one easy way to get around that is... Um, and one way to kind of... That was a common thing. And it, it's very smart to do is you would... Say for instance like this. You would have a production line to save space. So you'd have uh, like a production line all the way over here that would produce uh, the plastic fittings. And then you'd have like... You'd have the production line separated, which is it's smart. It, it's really smart uh, if you have the space and you really have the money. It it's, it costs more because you really have to do big investments and you have to be really good at planning. And that's kind of where I had my issue, is I I'm really bad at planning ahead, and that's one thing I love about this game because it it got me really good. Like by the time by the time I was like playing this all the time on Twitch, I was really good at planning ahead. Um, okay, available orders. Active orders. So let's see. Yep. And so once we get this next research, we'll start seeing orders from new people. Active orders. So I think one of these guys... I guess we already filled the, that crazy order. Um, so this is cool. So I think something from uh, that... I know there were, I know for like getting guns you had to have I think the place let's see so there there used to be a requirement for getting a gun license I think it was yeah trust our US government has to trust you and then good with the US government so that that's a cool thing and so you it gives you an incentive to prioritize you know making sure US orders get filled first because if you don't then they won't get you or give you a license to build gun. So it, it's a pretty cool thing. So at this point, we're just, it's just unfortunately just a waiting game, although things are moving a lot faster. I think this used to be a two-second speed. Well, let's see. Number produced per craft is five. So, yeah, that's that's really cool. I, I, like how, I think they've gone in and rebounded some stuff. And uh, I, I'm on the Discord for this. I, I don't, like, hang out on it. I'm just on it to kind of see and get some tips and stuff. And the uh, some of the designs people do is crazy. It's just absolutely insane. But uh, I know this is kind of a boring episode, y'all. But uh, trust me, next episode we're going to get some really cool stuff. Let's see, we just got Combat, combat Apparel Tier 1. So, boys and girls... Since I definitely have at least one female watching my channel, well, two actually. Um, let's thank y'all to every thank y'all for stopping by. If I get English, <laughs> thank you to everybody for stopping by, and I will see y'all in the next one. Goodbye.